friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm your friend Aruna and I've been out a week and I've been posting anything so I just want to give you a lot of updates happening in my life and uh, what's happening in the last week I had a lot of work for my house been pending because of Ramadan and Eid and Alhamdulillah I'm glad that work is slowly getting done for the house I'm doing some remodeling in my house some of the updates and I was busy in that also my work schedule and being a mom as well so I wanted to share with you today uh, a lot of few things, some of the updates I've done already in my house for my landscaping work, also some of my updates in the house. I did show, show you the small gym I created in my house and I'll show you that as well. Also, I will give you some more updates on this video as well. So uh, I wanted to share you with one special recipe. I actually saw that in this video, um, somebody was making it for baked recipe with avocado sauce. I kind of like it because I love seafood and I wanted to try that recipe and I will share that recipe with you during this next step of my video. But I wanted to show you some of the updates I've done in my house. So uh, let's go with me. I'll show you some of the updates I've been working on and let's see you from there. So let's go. So this is what my backyard looks like right now. I took this video a couple of days before as the work was getting done uh, because as you see, there's literally nothing but weeds. I, I This grass never grows and it makes me so tired. This is a whole my area of the backyard, but I have this fence here, two doors. I'm trying to remove all this, putting them as flowers, cutting down, trimming some nice work. And I'm glad it's gonna look so beautiful. These guys, I hired them from um, um the landscaping guy and uh, i want them to look all this area beautiful so they've been working all day very nicely putting installing new grass and new plants in and finally let me give you the amazing look of the backyard after it's done so there you go guys this is my common area for my family i created the entire basement and as you see here this is the area where i created a small gym area because i want to make sure that i have gym on my own schedule um i created this because i'm one of those person who always get a lot of money and i haven't been going to the gym so i don't want to have that excuse anymore since my kids also do some of the gym as well so i got this nice treadmill bicycle and also waiting area here also, you see here, we have some of the exercises since I'm new to it. So it gives me some idea how to work it out and what to do if it works. So I will start doing it for only one day so far. So hopefully that works. 
So this is my front yard area. It's pretty small. I like because my townhouse is the corner house and uh, I have some of the grass installed here. As you see, we have very small um, garden here and it has all the flowers here. And I'm trying to put more flowers in here, but I'm still thinking about it because it's not as funny as uh, weather's change. And this is a weather too. I have nicer plants. So thank you so much for watching these updates. Let's go share the recipe what I make for the salmon fish. And I really liked it. I wanted to try this so bad because I'm in best. My seafood is my best food ever. So I got this fixed fillet and I got some other um, ingredients here. Some lemons, garlic, butter, olive oil, salt, uh, black peppers. This is a secret recipe here. Garlic spread. Something you can find at Walmart. You can put it on the slice. I'm going to use this recipe. Chilies oregano and a nice big fish salmon this is also garden uh, garlic knobs i'm going to use that as a side dish for um, using this for um, the dishing rolls here as you see here these they say you can heat them to serve and eat but i'm actually going to bake it a uh, little more crunchy and a nice taste in the um, oven so it's a bake in the bag i don't use it in the bag i take it out and i dish it out because i don't want to eat anything plastic or aluminum foil so I put it outside in the dish and I will bake it this way so I'm gonna heat up the oven to 425 degrees it's heating up right now so let's go ahead and get this fish ready I have already washed uh, my salmon this is a secret here you can always want to take the paper towels here and tab dry the salmon to take out all the excess water from the top so make sure that it's completely dry so it'll soak in all the um, ingredients I'm going to put it on the recipe so it's not wet it's because salmon is something very um, sensitive and you want to make sure that it's observe all the juices and nice um, recipe and ingredients I'm going to make so I got this all nice and clean so let's move on to the next step Now I'm going to go ahead and make uh, make this a halfway because it's a little bigger than uh, my cutting board so I'll be able to work with it. I'm going to go ahead and make some small pieces here too but at first I'm going to make one big piece in the middle so I have more space to work with. So let's go ahead and cut this in the middle. And now if you see this I'm going to make uh, take the skin off from it because um, I don't want it to use the skin with this recipe. So this is also a small pieces. I took it out from the corner and I'll bake them separately to put it on the side dish and uh, aluminum foil here. So I already make my pieces and wash them. As you see, I cut them over and now I'm going to use this aluminum foil in a baking dish. As you see, I'm going to go ahead and place this foil here and I'm going to go ahead and move this over to this baking dish here. On the other hand, I have a pan going. I have a butter. I'm going to go ahead and melt it over on very low heat. I have um, a three tablespoon of butter that's actually melting. So this is my fish here. I put it on the baking tray and I put these small cutting pieces in the middle. I never waste that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the uh, Himalayan salt. Just put salt on the top of it and just bring it down as you see. Just a little bit of salt to taste. Not too much salt because I don't like too much salt in the food. Then I'm going to go ahead and use the black pepper. Use that around it too. Just a little bit of black pepper on the fish. Nicely done. There you go. Moving on to, I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and do this. repeat the same step from the back side. So I have that done. Now this is all done. I already flipped this back over again. Now the chilies because of course I eat everything spicy. Without spices I can't eat that. So I'm just going to use just a little bit of chili flakes. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the um, just on the top for the taste. So it's actually um, just I would say the half uh, teaspoon right here as you see. Just sprinkle it on the top a little bit so it gives you a little spicy taste to it. So as you see right here, right here, just I put that really small chili flakes around it. There you go. Done. Uh, let me just add a little bit more. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make sure it's nice spicy because my whole family does like spicy food. So once this is taken care of and done, moving on to organo. This is dry organo. I keep it here. So I'm going to sprinkle that at top as well. 
just a half tea, um, teaspoon as well right here just sprinkle a little bit because when you bake this the juices and uh, the aroma comes from this recipe it makes this salmon so so tasty and juicy so this is done moving on i'm going to go ahead and use the olive oil this is olive oil i keep it in this uh, bottle to take it out um just small uh, small not too much oil i'm going to be using it because um you know i want this fish to be cooked on its own uh, oil as well but i'm just going to use a half teaspoon a little bit slowly just going to dab it down a small um you know a small drops on each uh, fillet just to make sure that it cooks um nice and well and just a small you see just a small dips of it not much oil just to give little nice taste to it so let me go ahead and finish this over there we go done now what i'm going to use is i'm going to go ahead and um cover this up in the dish and um, you know also just to cover it up i'm going to go ahead and take this here cover it halfway first we're going to bake it as covered so it's well cooked done inside and then just to make it crispy i will move on the floor from the top so my oven is ready for 425 i'm going to go ahead and put it inside to bake it and i put it in the dish let it bake for about 10 to 15 minutes i'm going to go ahead and put the timer in the meanwhile i already got dish it out the garlic knobs here so i'm going to go ahead and bake this along with it so what's the secret is that i'm going to go ahead and put this right on the top of it so it's more covered and if i put it in the bottom i don't want to make it burn so i'm just going to put it on the side to so slowly cook so let's continue with our um sauce so butter is almost melted now i use one tablespoon of the garlic um recipe where i show you in the ingredients the garlic um melted butter too so it's a regular butter uh, one tip two tablespoon and one tablespoon of the garlic butter so then i'm going to go ahead and add the fresh lemon two fresh lemons i'm going to squeeze right into the recipe so as you see i'm going to go ahead and melt over fresh lemon right in there there you go I wish you guys can smell this you know i'm sure you can hear this sound that sounds is so uh the smell is 